All right, guys, we are back today with a second battery installation on this GOAT Power Bikes Billy Goat. We're going to be adding a second battery to this top tube right here, along with this battery down here. Now, let me show you guys what comes with the kit and how we're going to install it. So here's what comes in the kit. We have this little inverter slash um, battery ba balancer that will allow us to hook up from one and attach two batteries to it. All right, and along with the dual battery balancer, we have the battery and the track for the battery, that, which is called the battery plate, is already installed. What we do is we're just going to turn the key to the unlock position and we should just be able to unhook it. So once we have these three pieces, what we're going to do is we're going to want to install this battery plate right here. This is, there's gonna be four four millimeter Allen, Allen bolts. So we'll remove those. But before we, move, we remove those, we're gonna to want to remove the seat. So we're gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench. Come down here, there's four bolts, or four nuts I should say, and then we'll remove the seat. All right guys, now that we have the seat uninstalled, you can see the original OEM battery that is installed on the bike is already plugged into the controller. That's, that's perfectly fine. All we're going to do is we're going to unplug it. Perfect. One end comes out of the controller, the other end is coming from the battery. We're going to take our battery balancer and don't worry, the, there's only one plug that you can plug into this section so you can't really get it wrong. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our battery balancer to the controller section. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to plug one battery into this plug and then the second one will go into this one. So it's really simple and easy. Let's go ahead and install the battery plate first and then we'll reinstall the battery. Now we have our battery plate right here. These are four millimeter Allen, Allen key bolts. So we're just going to remove these. Now that we have the bolts uninstalled, we can go ahead and install the plate, the battery plate. So we can just take our, uh, our plug right here, just guide it up through where all the other plugs are. That way it's nice and neat. And then we can go ahead and just set this battery plate down and we can thread in these bolts by hand first so that we do not cross thread them. All right, cool. Once you have them all tightened by hand, we can take our four millimeter, four millimeter Allen wrench and just tighten them down. All right, we've now installed the battery plate. Make sure all the bolts are nice and snug. We don't want this to come loose, otherwise the battery will start to wobble around and possibly fall off. So, now that we have the plate installed, we can come back here and you see that we have this contraption. So, this is from the bottom battery, which is down here. And this one is obviously from this top battery plate. And they really just plug into their own. It doesn't necessarily matter which one, but we're gonna go Plug this one in here. And then now there's only one slot for the second battery plug to go. So we will just plug that in. Simple, quick, simple, and easy. Now all we have to do is just kind of tuck this, all these wires away under the, under where the seat hooks up. So you can kind of just push it down in here. Be careful not to uh, spl split any wires by accident. Just be gentle, but just find a little spot for everything under the seat. We're gonna have all this excess cable. We can kind of just also just push this up here. And if you have any zip ties, we can just zip tie it to some of the other cables. I'm going to just squish this together and we're going to zip tie it together. That way it's nice and neat under the saddle. Before we even put the saddle back on, what we can do is we can actually install our battery. Just make sure that when we install it, that the key turns all the way because we don't want the battery to fall off. So. We'll put, kind of push it down into place. And then over here, as you'll see, you know that it's in when the key makes a full turn like that. Take the key out and then just give it a little couple wiggles up. Try to pull it out. It should not come out. If it's not installed properly, it will fall off. Let's turn on both our batteries. This bottom one should already be on. Turn our key. Turn the bike on. Now that the bike is on, you know that the battery installation did work. So there we go. Now that is how you install the dual battery setup. Let's go ahead and put the saddle back on. So we'll just make sure we put it on the right way. Looks like this might be the right way. We'll go through those little holes. And then we're just going to use our 
our uh, 10 millimeter socket with our 10 millimeter nuts, tighten it all back down and you're all good and set to go. All right, so one way we can test to make sure that the battery is installed properly and working, we wanna make sure that it is in the on position. We're going to come to our bottom battery that was working before, turn that one off to the open, and then we can go ahead, turn our bike on. And if the bike turns on, you know that this battery is on. And then just to stay safe, I would recommend turning the bike off again to turn on the other battery as well. So now we have two batteries hooked up and turned on. So we're going to turn the bike back on. And let's see. There we go, we went from 40%, now we have 90% total with both batteries hooked up. That's how you can tell if both batteries are working properly. All right guys, just an overview on how everything works with the dual battery system. The battery balancer system that's in here, all it does is it takes the connection from one battery, turns it into two, so that it will, it will sync together and it will drain the batteries sync, uh, in sync. So it's not just one battery that will be draining, it will be both draining at the same time. Um, and then another issue that you guys just need to be aware of is when you are attaching the new battery, just make sure you hear that click after you slide and that the key turns all the way. So there's gonna be a directional for the key and then you'll hear this click. Once you hear that click, you'll know it's on. Let's do it again. There's that click and then just give it a little wiggles, make sure it's all good. So yeah, the battery balancer, it's not taking power from just one or the other. It's taking it from both so that they drain equally. That way you'll get better range with the dual battery. That concludes our video on the dual battery setup for the GOAT Power Bikes Billy GOAT. Don't worry, we will be coming out with more videos in the future on how to set it up with the other GOAT Power Bikes. The process will be very similar, so just watch out for those. And thanks for watching.